The coronavirus vaccine represents the end of the pandemic as we've known it, but scientists say it won't eliminate the virus. Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. Doctor, they say it probably will become more like the common cold. Does that sound right? <laughs> That sounds about right. Uh, this was based on a model that was published in the journal Science, and researchers looked at other coronaviruses that infect humans. And based on their behavior, they say this novel coronavirus is probably going to come back again and again, but probably more like the common cold. And they say in future generations that the first time you encounter this coronavirus will probably be in early childhood, like what happens with most cold viruses now, where kids might get a little sniffle or a little cough may not get any symptoms at all, but it probably won't cause severe disease like it's doing right now. Boy, look forward to that day. Doctor, we want to get to a couple of the viewer questions about the vaccine. And the first one comes to us from Emily in Middleborough, who asks, the government is now releasing all of the shots, not holding back anymore for round two. If you get your first dose, but for some reason you can't get your second, what happens then? Do you have to wait a period of time before getting another round one? It's a really good question, Emily. So, you know, the studies that were done with the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines were looking at giving that second dose three to four weeks after the first dose. So we don't really know what happens with the effectiveness if you wait much longer than that. Now, the WHO says you really shouldn't wait more than six weeks between the two doses. But the CDC says even if there is a delay, even a longer delay than six weeks, just go ahead and get your second dose. You don't have to repeat the first dose. And I will let you know that there is at least one vaccine in the pipeline that may gain approval over the next few months that only requires one shot. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, Dr. Dana is asking if the COVID-19 vaccine is about 95% protective or effective, why would we still contract and transmit the virus after getting two shots? Well, we hope that the vaccine will actually prevent you from transmitting the virus to other people, but we just don't know for sure. We are waiting for that data to come out. The thought is you could be protected, but you still might get virus at the back of your nose. And even though you don't get sick, you could still breathe it or cough it or sneeze it out into the air and infect people around you. Um, you know, even though you won't get sick, you still could transmit it. So what does that mean? That we all need to continue to wear our masks and socially distance until more data is available or until enough of us are vaccinated. We will continue to follow that advice. Doctor, thank you. Dr. Malika Marshall offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health.